Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about the next habitat that is mountains. So let us now talk about the next habitat that is mountains. Now what happens in the mountains? Let us first talk about the climatic conditions in a mountain region. Now as we go high, as, as you go higher and higher, what happens? The temperature decreases with increase in height. And therefore, you would have seen that uh, huge mountains, mostly their top regions are generally snow covered. That's because by the time you reach those top of the mountains, the temperature becomes so uh, less that they are all covered with snow. So it's like freezing at the top of the mountains. So as you go higher up in the mountains, so the temperature continues to decrease. So that's one important thing, So which, which tells us that it is very cold at the mountain tops. Secondly, it has more rainfall. Now, what happens is in case of mountains, the temp there is always a temperature difference between the top of the mountain and the bottom of the mountain. The near the base of the mountain, the temperature might be higher. So maybe somewhere at the base, the temperature might be less. But somewhere at the top, the temperature is temperature tends to decrease. Now, due to this difference in temperature, due to the low temperature at the tops, mountains remain snow covered and also uh, it, it so happens that due, due to the difference in temperature, they tend to get more rainfall as well. High winds also blow in the mountain regions. Because generally wherever you have mountains, both it, it, they are so high that on uh, the surrounding areas of the mountains, it's like all empty. So you can actually feel the presence of uh, high winds. Snowfall in winters, obviously when the temperature goes so down, so snowfall also is uh, very common in the mountain regions. Now let's see what kind of plants and animals uh, find mountain regions as their suitable habitat. So let's first talk about the plants in mountain regions. We mostly see cone shaped trees. So if you have ever closely observed the shape of the trees in the mountain regions are in the shape of a cone, something like this. The pine trees, if, if you have seen in the hilly areas and all. So why are these uh, trees shaped like a cone? That's because they, the leaves are slanted in such a way that they have needle shaped leaves so what happens is uh, when there is a lot of snowfall or rainfall then water can flow down through these through the slopes of the leaves so that means that shape helps these trees to allow the rain water and the snow to slide off very easily because you have those sloping leaves so if, if you have ever observed the leaves are also shaped like needles very thin leaves you do not have very broad leaved trees Sloping branches, so as I said, those slope help in uh, water or snow to slide off easily. So that's the advantage of having sloping branches. Needle shaped leaves on upper slopes. Now, when you think of a mountain, so a mountain is could be something like this. So you have lower slopes like this, you have higher slopes. So as you go higher, the temperature reduces all the more. Right? So the higher parts of the mountains, they generally do not have huge trees with broad leaves and all. They generally have grasses, so like tiny, I mean not very uh, lengthy, but they are like short in height. So grasses are more common in the higher parts or higher slopes of the mountains. But when you look at the lower slopes, they have uh, dense forests as well. You get to see huge big trees with broad leaved. So almost like broadleaf trees covering forested areas, that, that kind of scenery can be seen only in the lower slopes of the mountains. But as you go towards the higher slopes, you get to see plants with needle shaped leaves, the cone shaped plants. And as you go even higher, you get to see nothing but grasses. So towards the bottom, you might see forests. After that you go, you see, get to see the needle sheet leaves, pla leaved plants and at the topmost regions you get to see grasses. So depending on the temperature, depending on the climatic condition, the type of the plants that uh, exist there, that also changes. So what kind of animals do we see in the mountain regions? Now the surroundings in the mountain regions are quite challenging for animals to survive. So there is limited 
food stock, stock of food or limited food supply and also the climate is very cold so these two factors make it quite challenging for the animals to survive in the mountain regions however there are uh, quite a few animals which comfortably adapt to the mountain regions for example sheep yak certain varieties of goats these are all very commonly seen in the mountain regions now let's look at some of the adaptations of these animals they generally have thick skin or woolly fur over their bodies and why do they have that that's obviously to protect them from cold because as i said as you go up higher the temperature tends to decrease moreover at higher altitude the amount of oxygen in the air is also less therefore certain animals like yak also have larger heart and lungs so that you know the uh, oxygen pumping capacity of the body at least increases so so that it can cope up with that limited supply of oxygen outside so that is one type of adaptation that happens internal in the body again they also have strong hooves to move on mountain regions now what are these hooves so hooves are hard outer edge with soft center so if you look at their um, you know a feet but if you look at a sheep so when you look at the sheep if you observe this area you would see that their uh, their legs at the bottom towards the region of where we have our feet there they have something called hooves that is which is very hard from outside hard edge but they have a soft center so these hooves help them to grip rocks and climb up now in the mountain regions what do you have mountains are nothing but huge pieces of rocks joined together make a mountain so walking through those rocks or climbing through the rocks is not a very easy task but these hooves help them to climb up the rocks very easily so these are some of the ways by which animals survive in mountain regions now as i said that when you talk about any specific uh, uh, habitat they will have their own advantages and their own challenges but still there are animals who survive there who adapt to that environment and found find that habitat suitable for them so let thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again